There's a place in Minnesota just south of the Twin Cities, Jordan, Minnesota, and it's here that you will find the most incredible place. This isn't just a candy store, it's an experience. Inside this family-owned Big Yellow Barn on the side of Highway 169, you'll find every type of candy that you can imagine. In fact, you'll find over 3,000 varieties of candy. But you'll also find that it's a museum of sorts. You really have to see this place to believe it. And it all started as a roadside apple farm and grew into the 27,000 square feet store that is now the largest candy store in the state. You could spend all day in this place gawking at the life-size superheroes and movie-themed murals that adorn the ceilings while sorting through the nostalgic and brand new candies from all around the world and still not be able to see it all. So in this video, I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of one of the coolest places here in my home state of Minnesota. This is Minnesota's largest candy store. So before you even walk in, you'll see this mural right here. And it's a mural because that's actually where a car drove right through the wall and uh, he looked exactly like this. That guy right there. All right, so you can only use cash, check. Who uses checks anymore? but no debit or credit cards, but there's an ATM inside, so it's all good. All right, so enough on the outside. We're heading inside to go check out the world's biggest candy store, or I guess Minnesota's biggest candy store. But if you ask me, Minnesota is the world, so this is the world's biggest candy store. Holy crap, look at this place. Like this is what you see as soon as you walk into this place. We've got those sharks up there. We've got that shark up there that has given up eating fish. Look at these murals. We got this hammerhead over there, Sebastian over there, a Vikings Viking ship over here. Look at that great white right there. There's Mario up there. And look at this, there's the under part of a boat. So this whole room in here looks like you're under the ocean. You've got the Loch Ness Monster up there. And then we've got sea monkeys. And look at up here, you've got Aquaman and the crazy woman that shits the bed. We've got tons and tons of root beer over here. I mean, this whole wall right here are all different kinds of root beers. Look at this, Earp's Sarsaparilla. We've got Dog and Suds root beer. Every Minnesota Twins fan will know Killabrew root beer. And this is a brand, I don't, I'm not familiar with this one. Check this out right here. We've got a yard of bubble gum. You can buy one for 11 bucks out of this vending machine. It's pretty cool actually. But over here we've got Minnesota's largest porta potties. Girls and boys. All right, so up front here we have all of the soda section. And look at this. This whole area right here is just for different kinds of orange soda. We've got Dads, we've got Norca. Right here we have the crazy wall where you're going to find all sorts of weird flavored sodas like for instance bacon soda and even another kind of bacon soda definitely going to be trying one of these but you also have jones's special release of turkey and gravy soda so today i am joined by aiden and we are going to try some of these like i'm like i've heard of bacon soda before but i've never really well tried bacon soda before but aiden what kind of soda are we trying today you are trying the Jones turkey dinner soda. Bottoms up, dude. Bottoms up. Hit it. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. Does it taste like, like turkey and gravy? I'm Border, trying it. It's borderline turkey and gravy, but it's also you get a it's, it's not as carbonated as, as you'd expect. Actually, that doesn't taste as bad as I expected it to taste. It really doesn't taste like turkey and gravy. It almost tastes like a cream soda. It's, it, you, get, you get a hint of cream soda in there. It's a, like a little bit of vanilla, but you still taste yeah. that gravy. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you get the aftertaste of the turkey and gravy with this one, but your first hit, it's kind of like a cream soda. All right, now we're moving on to the bacon soda. This needs a bottle opener, hang on. All right, got it. Here we go. Okay. 
This is really disappointing. I thought we would be really grossed out by this. This doesn't taste like bacon at all. It just tastes like almost... Just the grease. Yeah, just like almost... I mean, there's not even like a bacon aftertaste to this. Would you mind if I try it? Please! Because that is really disappointed. I thought it was going to be really bacon flavored. It is not. What do you think? It just tastes a little burnt. It tastes like the burnt yeah. ends of bacon. That's Okay, now that you mention that, the aftertaste, yeah, it tastes like burnt bacon. Wow. These are really disappointing. I really wanted to love these. I really wanted the taste of turkey in a soda. I really wanted the taste of bacon in a soda. Major, major letdown. Oh, this was really bad. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave you right, right, right in the orange section. There, that's where you belong. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that right up there with the puzzles because you don't belong in the soda section. So that's the soda section, and now with a mouthful of that bacon taste. We're heading into the candy portion of this place. Um, I meant um, apple and jelly section, I guess. And then, just to tease Adam Wickens, we've got Big As Texas Pickles. I think they're missing an S. And then over here, we've got all of this fudge. Cookies and cream fudge, chocolate walnut fudge, chocolate sea salt caramel fudge. Look at how well this fudge is packed. All right, so leaving the soda room and the under the sea room, we haven't even begun. And then you walk into this room, which is all decorated with fantasies and fairy tales and- There's Elsa from Frozen. So let's check out this mural up here. We've got Red Riding Hood. Who are you? We've got Jack and the Beanstalk. Humpty Dumpty and where the wild things are up there. Some chick riding a swallow. All right, so let's see what's in the fantasy room. We've got all of this pasta. I mean, we've got sombrero pasta and we got bow tie pastas here. So yeah, all these pastas. Then we've got pasta sauces over here. You know what I don't see in here yet is candy. Wait a minute, the whole other row over there is candy. Who's ever calling me go away, I'm filming. All right, so check this out. The first candies we found. We've got all these little fruit slices that I used to love when I was a kid. We've got pink grapefruit slices over here. We've got root beer fruit slices. We've got peach fruit slices. Chili mango fruit slices that are really popular and they are completely sold out. Down here we've got all sorts of gummies. Look at this, this whole row is gummies. Then we got blue shark gummies over here. We've got licorice Scotty dogs. Here we have French burnt peanuts. Uh, that doesn't look very burnt to me. Over here, we've got all sorts of Independence Day malted milk balls. All right, so as you come over here, look at this. We've got the Joker up there. We've got Harley Quinn over here. We've got uh, Catwoman, maybe, I would think, Batgirl. And here we have Batman and the Bat Signal over here. And then right up there, we've got the girl from Lost. And over there, we've got Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer is kind of like the dollar store version of a superhero. I never understood Silver Surfer. What is he gonna do, like fly around and beat somebody with his surfboard? I don't get it. Comment below and let me know wh what is Silver Surfer's deal? But you turn around and look at this. There's Superman and he is challenging Batman. All right, and this is a really cool display theater box candy, where you can buy all of the different candies that you can find in a movie theater. But the thing about this display is, look at this, they're $2.19, not 25 or 30 bucks per box that you would find at your local theater. But look at this, we got assorted Swedish fish, love these things. We got three types of dots over here, cookie dough fudge brownies, look at this, one, two, three, four, five different types of Mike's and Ike's. Sugar Babies, loved these when I was a kid. Money, I'll tell you all about it. Uh, I just missed what Pappy said. Say, say it again, Pappy. Pa pa Pappy? Pappy doesn't like me very much. And then look at this, you've got the Hulk Buster Iron Man. This is pretty amazing. And then over his shoulder, hanging from the ceiling over here, is Iron Man. Spider-Man hanging from the ceiling over here. We've got Thor, we've got Wonder Woman, we've got Black Panther, and we've got uh, that guy. But I'm so busy looking up at all the superheroes, 
I'm missing all the candy, especially all this taffy. They have probably 50, maybe more, different types of taffy. It's all on this side, it's all on this side. Let's see what we've got here. We've got red licorice taffy over here. We've got s'mores taffy, amil huckleberry, hot chocolate taffy, and the grossest kind there is, eggnog taffy. Nope, I stand corrected. They've got carrot cake taffy. That sounds pretty gross. But even so, I think I need to try this. When it comes to taffy, I'm a man who loves his taffy, but I've never tried carrot cake taffy before. Let's try this out. Mmm. All right, so it's not a flavor that like hits you right off the bat. You gotta chew it a little bit to bring out those flavors, but yeah, it's not what I would expect from a carrot cake flavored taffy. There's a lot of cinnamon flavor to it. And as you chew it a little bit more, more of those flavors come out, just like a good taffy should. These are definitely a hit. And here we can try all sorts of chocolate from around the world. Milka. All right, check this out. Dirty cow, plant-based chocolate. Isn't all chocolate plant-based? What kind of chocolate is this here? Hershey's? Who's ever heard of Hershey's? <laughs> That company's not gonna last. So right here at this end of the aisle, this is a time machine right back to my childhood. Right here with cow tails. God, I haven't seen these since I was like a kid, like at least four or five years ago. Oh man, I remember this from my childhood, Laffy Taffy. Man, I always used to go up to the store and buy Laffy Taffy with my allowance. I would spend it all on this stuff because there were jokes on every wrapper. This one's the banana. This one was my favorite. But look at this, they also have watermelon Laffy Taffy. They have grape Laffy Taffy. And they have, um, well, I, I guess that's it. And then Charleston Chews, look at these. We used to put these in the freezer and then smash them and eat the pieces. However, my favorite was strawberry. And I only see vanilla and chocolatey. I guess it's not really chocolate, it's chocolate tea because there's no chocolate in it. But, Dude, where's the strawberry representatives? But look at this, sugar babies. Totally loved these when I was a kid. Black cow, totally loved these as a kid. Slowpoke, totally loved these as a kid. And oh my God, they have Clark bars. Totally hated these when I was a kid, Ugh. So in this aisle, there are every kind of potato chip and snack chips you can think of. Except Lay's, I don't see Lay's here. And look at this, the world's biggest Pez dispenser with a minion on top. Okay, that is just freaking awesome. And inside you can buy every flavor of Pez that you can think of. And then over here, look at this, you can buy all these Pez characters. Pikachu Pez dispenser, SpongeBob Pez dispenser, Harry Pothead Pez dispenser, and they even have a Batman Pez dispenser. And down this aisle is all the licorice you can possibly imagine ever to be in existence. Like, look at this. Orange Cream Pop Twizzlers and Wiley Wallaby. This is the best licorice ever made, and it's made right here in Minnesota. And if you remember a couple of videos back, channel so new, there's only a few videos here, but I went to Madagascar and brought a bunch of candy for all the kids of Madagascar to try American candy for the first time. And Wiley Wallaby was one of the ones that I brought. And in that video, I kept calling it Willoughby Wallaby. I don't know why, but uh, that video is right there. If you would like to take a look, perhaps it's over there. It's either there or there. Kids of Madagascar trying this candy. Check it out. And check it out. They even have this candy band right here. That candy corn is singing right there. We've got a blue M&M blowing the horn. We've got an eggplant, I guess, playing guitar over here. Look at this, licorice backup singers. If I record any more of this, I'm gonna get a copyright strike. So, really cool band. Uh, so I just ran into Aiden, who is about to start a YouTube channel himself. Hello. Aren't you, aren't you? Yes. I suppose so, yeah. Yes, you are. All right, yeah. so you're gonna be in this one. What have you found right meow? A lot of people, influencers, and a lot of people that will be freeze drying candy and selling it for a largely marked up price. What is that, seven bucks? Seven dollars, but I mean, it can't hurt to try it. You I, know, it looks really good. I agree. Like I said, everything on the planet is edible, but some of it only once. So they really do take taffy mm -hmm. 
and just freeze dry it until it puffs up like that. I don't even know what flavors there are here, but I've got a blue one. You've got the watermelon. Cheers. Cheers, ting. All right. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, man. It kind of breaks apart. But once you take a bite of that, <coughs> I'm dying it's over killing here. Aiden, yeah. but it just melts in your mouth. It's kind of like, almost like cotton candy taffy. It really is amazing. This one's getting like a hint of like sourness. I mean, I kind of expect it because a lot of watermelon flavored candy is sour, but it's very good. We are eating this whole bag right here. This is amazing. You want the orange one? Here, have this one. Oh, mm. full moving. <laughs> and then right here, this section is all rock candy. Look at this grape one. Time to cook, Jesse. You killed Uncle Hank. All right, look at this section. We've got insects dipped in chocolate. We've got earthworms with real worms. And look at this. We've got bugs you can eat. Look at that. And there's a bark scorpion right there. That's crazy. Are you going to try one of these bugs? I am. What are you going to try? We got some of these chocolate dipped insects. It's not saying really what, but I can, I can assume that it's crickets and worms. All right, you have selected a chocolate mealworm. Mm -hmm. And I would usually never eat a bug, but might as well go hey, for it. You went in a candy store. You well, know, it's just, it's crispy. Uh huh. It, it's crispy. You get the chocolate, you get the crispiness. It tastes like a bug. It's not even that bad. Okay, the aftertaste is not the greatest. Ah, oh. I was waiting for the aftertaste. That's what kills you. <laughs> oh, awesome. All right, now you know how our lizards feel. Mm -hmm. uh, just here, put that, put that back right there. Just, just put it back, put it back. Go, 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 go. All right, so leaving the main candy store back there, there is still the coolest room up ahead to see, but right here, this is the Harry Potter room. And there's Harry Potter right there. And there's Darth Vader right there. But then you look around and it's like, um, there's no candy in the Harry Potter room. However, I think if you go right through that wall right there, that's where they keep the Harry Potter candy. Let's try this. Ow, that, that kind of that hurt. Oh, that really hurt. So this is the main room built inside that big yellow silo. This is the coolest place I've ever been. In here, there are candies from all over the world, but take a look at the ceiling. We've got a half-built Death Star over there from Return of the Jedi. Look at those TIE fighters up there. But the coolest thing about this is, look at this, the whole ceiling spins. Up there, we've got Guardians of the Galaxy, Star-Lord, Groot, and my favorite, Rocket. And I swear, if they killed Rocket in Guardians 3, I would find James Gunn and I would punch him right in the... And then we've got the ship from Futurama. And look at this, we've got a full-size Thanos right here. And he's looking up at the Guardians up there. And up there, we've got the Enterprise in a docking bay. And look at that, you've got the Borg ship up there. And this whole section is dedicated to Star Wars and Spaceballs. And then right in the middle of it all, we've got the TARDIS. Look at this. Oh, you can actually go in the TARDIS. Whoa! I love TARDISes, like Yellowfoot TARDISes, and Burmese Mountain TARDISes, and Herman's TARDISes. I love TARDISes. Look at all these controls. That is definitely going to be the last thing that I ever say in my life. I wonder what this button does. All right, so when you're finished looking up, you've got to look down and see what kind of candy they have down here. This is like all the toy candy stuff that I just absolutely love. Toy car, filled with candy. Toy french fries, filled with candy. Toy snake, um, oh yeah, filled with candy. Toy dinosaur, mmm, maybe filled with candy. Toy hypodermic needle, good god I hope this is filled with candy. And look at this, tomato flavored Pringles. And look at this over here, we've got this big sheet of Rice Krispie Treats, meant to be eaten in one sitting. Look at this, we've got all these Kit Kats from Japan. I've never even heard of some of these. Salt lemon, orange Kit Kats, caramel pudding Kit Kats, matcha latte Kit Kats. Okay, definitely trying these. We're gonna rip this open, give this a whirl. Look at that, it's actually green Kit Kats. All right, 
I'm going in. The first bite, the texture is just like a Kit Kat. Because it is one. Because it is one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has the same kind of cookie center as any other Kit Kat, which makes it a Kit Kat. It just basically tastes like a regular Kit Kat to me. Now, I think you're wrong there. It's not the most matcha flavor, but it's more of like a vanilla. Um, you know, you get like a little aftertaste of matcha. Okay, on the second bite, I can definitely see it. I think I like these. All right, I'm just gonna put that right there and uh, you, you make friends with the pastas there. So guys, next time you're in Minnesota, you've gotta come down here to Jordan to check out Minnesota's largest candy shop. But something to keep in mind is that they're seasonal, so they're only open from May until November. So just keep that in mind when you come here to Jordan to visit this really amazing candy shop. So guys, if you're hungry for more, there's a video to check out right there. If you're starving for more, there's a playlist right there. All right, I gotta go uh, find the insulin section.